Our tail of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Paul Belju! Ready to fight. Ready. All right, so the MMA leader back in Montreal tonight. We are inside Bell Center where the hockey fans are making noise for mixed martial arts tonight. This is as good an MMA setting as we have on the entire calendar, DC. I remember sitting in the back before Josh Koscheck fought the Red Champion and thinking, wow, the Canadian fans have treated us great this week. But the moment we hit the curtain, you felt the booze. You felt that we were uninvited because they were there to cheer on their guy. George St. Pierre, but look, it's not limited to just him. They cheer all fighters in all great fights in the belt. Nice punch there by Craig. Oh, nice left hand there. Oh, we go to the clinch right now where this BJJ fighter has been pretty good at finding a way to get the fight to the ground. We'll see if he can do it here. He gets the fight to the ground mainly from the clinch. This is exactly where he needs to be. He got chest to chest, and now he's going to try to impose himself on his opponent to start to really wear at that wear at the cardio. Right on the button. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Front kick to the body is there. Nice work by Delidze. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Takedown defense is there. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Three minutes to go. Oh, nice jab by Craig. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh, big elbows. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. That's a big strike right here. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Let's go, set up that takedown. Unable to land with that punch. Big shot lands for both guys. Now he touches him with the left. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this game. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the targets, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Seconds to go in the opening round. Craig's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. He missed with that jab attempt there. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Swing and a big miss by Roman Delidze. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. 
Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off him by blocking all these attacks. Thirty seconds now to go in the opening round. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Delidze. Big ground and pound. Making all these shots count. Waiting seconds here of this opening round. Played. Going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. All right, feet on the hips here. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut Ready on the bridge of his nose. Ready. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Trying to establish that jab once again. Kickboxing 101. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut. Making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Craig's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Oh! Spinning back this Lance. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. you got to start to watch his reaction now as we go forward. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. Ooh, going for a leg lock. The hook looks tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing the opponent to get the submission victory. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. And now some separation. Craig's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Nice jab. Good defensive vision to block that punch. Uppercut is good. Well, oh, don't get mad. Oh, Back to his feet. Craig's eye is starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh! 90 seconds to go in round two. 
Craig's now switching his stance. Oh, man, that cut is nasty. All right, so the referee steps between the two fighters. They are going to call on the doctor to look at that nose, and I'm fearful this is going to be the end of the fight. Yeah, it's bad. There's a lot of blood. You can see him almost mouth wide open, gasping for air. All right, looks as though the fight is going to continue. The referee checking on the athlete one more time. A bit surprising. I didn't know if they would let this guy continue, but here we go. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely, and I'm just as excited myself. I want to see these guys compete. I want to see who wins. I don't want it to stop because of a cut. I want to see the best fighter get their hand raised at the end of the night. Luckily, we get to try to do that. All right, so how about this? The BJJ fighter just continues to land at will on the feet, not necessarily the way you drew it up today, Chief. No, I, you know, watching these two fight in preparation, you don't expect to see this playing out in front of you. The jiu-jitsu fighter normally is chasing takedowns, but he must have seen something in his opponent that is allowing him to get this type of success on the feet. He looks like he is evolving as a fighter, and that is very good for him and his team to see. Craig's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week. But now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. Nice job by him defensively there. Final seconds here of round two. It's just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Roman Dolish! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. Staring at my hand, it's all VVs. 
We just trying to stay alive like the Bee Gees. Done it for the guts and the glory. And if we ever rise it, we ain't shooting feet, we ain't Tory. Mommy voted Labour, we was poorly. But I don't want you sobbing to my story. Can't made it out of the trenches. Now I've got a taste, it's expensive. Cartier lenses, premium plus on the Benzes. I was dead broke, I had to mend it. I wink at my shooter, he gon' send it. Follow me, it's been a rocky road. I take my dog off the leash and have a proper stroll. Honeycomb, she my pot of gold. Told her we should stay down to the end, we gon' rock and roll. You gon' need 21 to salute me. All my friends is dead, so I'm trying to buy. I was bad in the streets way before I got bougie. Type of murders that you only see in movies. Shit's real when the rats is deep. Well, you know about waking up in jail from a dream that make you wanna fall straight back and sleep. On the days, on the nights, selling crack for weeks. I'm from the corner of the trap in the trench. Had to hit the sauna when I slapped up the with somebody's door in the back of a band. I'm a shark, see a pool full of blood, take a swim. Got a purple heart for the work I put in. Can't be a face on a shirt or a name on some skin to survive. You got money on the line, I'm gonna die with you. That's no investment. In like the bottom of a trifle Took her to the telly Then I scratch her inside like a vinyl Handled the whole nine bar on a two-wheel cycle Trying to get richer than Lionel Tell the hospital we're sending straight death on arrival You trying to walk through the streets I'ma guide you From a brick to a teeth I'll supply you You know what type of time I'm tired On your marks are you ready 2023 be getting heavy My bitch got a It's heavy Got the chips and it's heavy I watch 41 mil is heavy Steady on your mark, so you're ready. 2023, we get heavy. My bitch got And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Lightweight division, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Jalen the Tarantula Turner! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Benoit God of War Chandonet! You ready to fight? You ready? Good. All right, here we go, round one. We'll see what the lightweight contender, Jalen Turner, can do in this particular matchup. Nice job, I think, by Sean Shelby and Mick Maynard to get these two athletes in a competition setting against each other. They have finally shown up in each other's bracket. And I think when you're fighting Jalen Turner, a lot of the battle just begins with the length. Can you get inside without absorbing appreciable damage? Let's see how it plays out early in this one. Just misses with that one. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Great attempt to chin there. Landed a beautiful combination to the head. Oh, he's doing a real good job. Never changed off of the strike too. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guards. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Ooh, it is tight now. Working again for that submission. It's always gonna be a struggle, but this guy's intent on finishing the fight. Serena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 24 seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, Ben God of War, 
right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get to his position, which is the crown, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.